Well, he really stepped up to the plate, those final three points, ripping a cold forehand winner, not an easy thing to do in a tight situation. And finishing it off with two big first serves that Martin just couldn't control. So has that broken Martin's spirit, I wonder. Well, it's going to be awfully tough for him now, isn't it? And two sets to love down. There's Hemman's reaction. Always pretty calm, Hemman. You normally just sort of produces the fist, none of the Boris Beckers. Well, set two, the, the uh, statistics there. Martin, once again, very good first serve percentage. Henman obviously could do better there. He is really trying to crank that first serve up, but 48%, probably a little bit too low. No aces either, surprisingly. A few too many unforced errors. Played a magnificent first set. Be interesting to see if he can get back to that level here, here in this third set. So then, Tim Hemman. Two sets love up. Thank you. You would think Third set. he'd be on his way to the fourth round in a match against Stefan Edberg. As we saw against another seed, Yevgeny, Yevgeny Kafelnikov at Wimbledon. There's still, any, still nothing to choose. I had lunch with Pancho Segura the other day, a very a great past player and a, very much a student of the game. And he was just saying to me, he and he was just saying to me, he feels that a lot of the modern pros get in winning positions and then change their game, start to play within themselves. He's not sure whether it's because of all the money that's at stake. He felt that in his, in his day it was different. When you got ahead, you really applied the pressure and went for it. He just feels there's a different attitude pervading the circuit these days. See if Tim can reverse that by pulling out all the stops. Okay. On the line, there's a good start for Hemman in the third. He needs one love. So then, Todd Martin Thank you. needs to get his teeth stuck into this match. Two sets, love down, love one down. Love <laughs> Certainly from what we've seen of him in the past, he's not going to collapse and fold against Hemman. Hemman's going to have to win it. There's a chance now for Hemman to really pile on the pressure.
Good boy. Well, he's a shot maker, Tim Henman. He looks so much better when he is going for his shots. When he starts to play within himself, he actually makes more unforced errors when he's going for it. That's a lovely feel from him and half volley on the baseline. Andre Agassi does that a lot. Horsey love. Exactly the sort of game Hemman wanted after he'd just broken the Martin serve. And he leads three love, third set. I wonder what's going through his mind at the moment. He seems to be a bit short of ideas in this third set. Maybe his back is broken. Certainly the crowd here tonight think it's all over. They're all just piling out. I just noticed in that last game, Tim Henman has his left thigh strapped. Love three, third set. And the line. It's so good now for Henman if he can get a second break. It really would be all over. He never dwells too long on a missed shot, does he? No, he always just gets on with it. That's what I like about him. Todd Martin led Mel Washington 5-1 in the fifth set of Wimbledon this year, only to lose it. I wonder in the context of a career what that does to a player, whether he'll ever, ever truly gets over it. holds for the first time in this set and still leads 3-1 and they're difficult to tell isn't it when you have that sort of lead and, and you lose the match especially in that sort of situation at Wimbledon I know and I'm sure you do that you, you always remember certain parts of your your career 
I'm sure Martin will remember that one. And I'm sure Henman will remember this if he wins tonight. Well, I think it might have been just long. Good sneak here by Todd Martin. First day to this set, four in total. Perfect timing. Henman edging nearer to the fourth round. He leads 4 1, Henman third set. Four games to Well, 4 1 now did well to consolidate his break there, but really at this stage of a match, he's, he's done a lot of the hard work. He's sort of broken the spirit of Martin to a certain degree. Very important now to just to think in points, not to think of who his next round opponent is, not to start thinking about winning the match and having won the match. Just one point at a time. Very professional approach required now. Martin, though, I don't think to me can complain too much tonight I, I really just think he's been outplayed okay yes maybe he hasn't got his normal 115 120 mile per, per hour serve but even if with that I still think Henman will be running in close yeah there's no question that Henman has matched him from the back of the court no doubt about that tonight Tucker. Nice looking score line for Tim Henman. As you can see, the stands emptying rapidly here on stadium. This man has got a lot to do. Can't afford to lose his serve again. And somehow, can't find a way to break Tim Henman again. <laughs> 